First to enter the Cage Rage Octagon, the challenger, weighing in at 83.9 kilograms. He has a background in wrestling and boxing. He's representing Rhinox Phoenix, Rising Phoenix Mixed Martial Arts. He has a Cage Rage record of 3 and 0 oh from Kansas City. Curtis, bang them out! opponent weighing in at 83.5 kilograms. He has a background in Muay Thai and a cage rage record of 2 and 0. Oh. From Brazil, he is the cage rage middleweight champion of the world, Anderson. Gentlemen, this is a middleweight contest scheduled for three five minute rounds. With on my left, the challenger, Curtis Bangham. Start has definitely earned his shot here. I mean, he's got three solid knockouts. He's coming in with a, a now a legendary left hook. Anderson Silva has got every range covered. He's got the punches. He's got the knees. He's got the kicks. He's got jujitsu. This is as good a battle. I, I think the whole world of mixed martial arts is watching this because this could be fight of the year. And like he said, there is that worry that if that left hook touches Anderson Silva, will it put him asleep? Well, Stout said, who's he stopped? Jorge Rivera, that's not a bad name. No, 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 that's, that's a good name. Uh, Curtis coming out and doing exactly what he should. Oh, Anderson firing back. Anderson getting this fight on the ground. I kind of, out of position, Anderson Silva into the guard. A wild one already. Curtis nice. came out with a lot of energy, and Anderson answered back with punches and kicks, and then Curtis stayed in the pocket. Anderson took him down. I think this is a smart game plan for Anderson. Yes, as you said, that left hook has earned respect. Because why chance it? I mean, if you can't stop a guy standing, he will eventually land. A big shot and to stop a guy you need power and you need to, to hurt the guy and Anderson is known more of a technician he cuts guys he he busts people open he hasn't you know Curtis even asked who was he knocked out but Anderson has stopped guys over a period of time uh, as we said before Jorge Rivera and we always expect one thing and then we get another don't we Anderson exactly. working for the triangle choke he sets his legs into position. You know, I mean, Curtis has got to stand up and get out of this. Curtis has got to be careful not to spike him. He's done the right thing. Yeah. Back to standing in the clinch. Good work by both guys there. Curtis, Stop. yeah, Curtis got out of that triangle choke, and that was really, really, I mean, it was getting close. And he'll have to watch out for the knees here. Another thing that Silva's famous for. And the good old foot stomp. That's right, we saw him take Lee Murray's front leg away with those foot stomps and then the low leg kick. Anderson's so relaxed, so patient here. Curtis has calmed down quite a bit too. 
That's it. I was waiting for that first knee from Anderson. Took a time coming. Curtis tried for an over-the-shoulder roll and suplex, but it didn't work because Anderson ended up on top inside mount. Anderson just holding his hot position. Anderson thinking about a submission here. He's going to go for the anaconda choke, pulling it into a guard. Anderson on top. Good right, good right hand by Anderson. Just trying to work Curtis to the back of the cage. Anderson in, in position. Anderson in control. On top, on the ground. Curtis staying relaxed, waiting for an opportunity to, to explode or to reverse. It's a very tight game at the moment. It really is. Both these guys not willing to give an inch. I think Curtis is going to want to tie him up so he can get a restart, but Anderson may work the underhooks. It's going to be hard for Anderson to submit Curtis from this position. I think that would be a good tactic by Curtis as well, because I honestly feel he'll want it upright as often as he possibly can get it. Silva has been such so rangy with his game plan. When they were uh, upright, he smothered him, got him into a clinch, got the fight to the ground. So much tension, mainly in the crowd, because both gents seem to be fairly relaxed. Yes. Grant telling them to work or get up. Um, you saw Anderson look at him clearly, and there you said about the relaxation. Yeah. I think we're going to see a restart. I think Curtis wants it to be up on its feet. Of course he does. He wants to land that bomb. Was he questioning that knee with Grant there? Curtis, uh, he looked up. Yeah, because the knee was close to his head. It didn't, it didn't land. It landed on, more on his arm. Anderson pretty much in control here. Uh-oh. But is it fair to say that we felt that if Curtis had a chance, it was the old-fashioned puncher's chance? Yes. Because even he, in the pre-fight interview, accepted the, the technical genius of Anderson Silva. I think he actually used the term genius. Yes, he did. Uh, Anderson using brute power. Uh-oh! Big right hands there. Curtis had to get out of that position. Anderson Curtis Silva. Curtis is in trouble. Curtis is in big trouble here. It's over. He's, He's out. out. He's, He's out. out. Anderson Silva now has a knockout on his dossier. He's just answered Curtis's question in the most emphatic way. Who has he stopped? Sadly, Curtis, he stopped you. Wow. Anderson Silva took care of business, worked a brilliant game plan. Why trade with a knockout artist? Anderson is still the world cage rage middleweight title holder. Well, he once again proved that he's one of the greatest fighters in the world. He's a complete fighter, that's the thing, isn't it? Curtis is running out of options here, and he just eats too many right hands there. And he gets almost not completely cold because he just can't reverse the position. Right above us as well, and we saw each one of those landing. And you can see what it meant to Anderson as well. Well, what I was going to say is that Pride is going to have their what they call their welterweight. But that's 185 pounds, or what is it, 83 kilos over here. Uh, and that's going to be between Dan Henderson and Marilla Bustamante. I think maybe now they're starting to eye Anderson Silva to challenge possibly the winner of that fight. That would make logical sense. This is it's where it's all it over began. from here, isn't it? Yeah, because here, watch this right hand land. It lands clean on the dome, and he, he picks his, oh, right there. That's it, look, Curtis has got no defense. He's just trying to turn out. Yeah. Beautiful work by Silva. Look at him pick the shots. Ladies and gentlemen, the trophy is on the belt to be presented by the chairman of sports betting one on one, Stephen Bamford. After four minutes, 59 and a half seconds of round one, by way of knockout, your winner and still the Cage Rage middleweight champion of the world, Anderson 
Silva! www.cagerage.tv for the fight card. We'll see you then. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I must say, the man who's been in the cage the longest tonight, our, or both our referees, let's make some noise! How's he feeling tonight being the number one champ again? Ele está perguntando como é que você está se sentindo de ser campeão novamente. Ah, eu acho que. Eu acho não, eu tenho certeza que o trabalho foi bem feito. Eu acho que a gente trabalhou muito para estar aqui. E eu não sou melhor, eu só sou treinado para fazer aquilo que talvez muitas pessoas acham que é impossível. E estou treinando muito e é isso aí. That's a lot to translate, bro. Um... That's not be okay. <laughs> he said he works very hard to be here. He is not the best, but he works very hard to show what he's done here tonight. All right, you did that very short. I like that. I know there's more. Right. So we talk quite a lot to make short words. <laughs> well, we think that you're the best, no doubt. Ele acha que você é o campeão. Minha mãe, meu pai, meus amigos também acham. My mom, my dad, and everyone else think I'm a champion too. <laughs> That's right. Do you want to give any thank yous, any shout outs to anybody? Você tem alguma coisa para falar para alguém? Ah, eu gostaria de agradecer a todo o público presente hoje aqui, agradecer a todos os brasileiros, ao professor Cunha, ao professor Jorge que me ajudou, ao Vidal, agradecer ao meu professor de jiu-jitsu. É, Rodrigo Minotauro, Rogério Minotauro e o meu treinador também lá em Curitiba, Alexandre Penão, meu professor de Wesley, Fernandinho e todos os meus amigos. É isso aí, a gente veio com o trabalho bem feito e agradeço a todos vocês e a gente está treinando, treinando. Uh, I'd like to thank the public first. Um, I also like to thank Cunha, that he's a Muay Thai teacher. Um, he would like to thank as well Diogenes, his Muay Thai teacher, Rodrigo Minotauro, and Minotauro, Jiu Jitsu instructors, his wrestling instructor, and everyone else has supported him on this fight. Okay, well, listen, without further ado, please, I know everybody now, you've seen it all, it was wicked. The fight that you was waiting for, and the man in charge. Make some noise for Anderson Silva! Now, I'm standing with the main man in charge, Mr. Silva right here. He's the number one champion, and this is the best way to close a show. If you missed it, this man just knocked him out clean. Go ask your friends. Number one, Anderson Silva, Richard Blackwood. We're saying peace, Cage Rage 14, see you Cage Rage 15. Just wave goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Much love. He's my man, he's my man. Anderson Silva, still the middleweight champion of the world. And we can see why they call him the spider. He was all over that. It was a fantastic fight. Unbelievable knockout right on the last second of the round. Great to watch, great to see. Now, if you want to watch more of Cage Rage, you just stay tuned. I'll go to cagerage.tv. You will see more. You will find more action. You will not see any better fighters anywhere in the UK. Cagerage.tv.